Join me here to be with all of you. It's an honor and pleasure. Um, let me introduce you to Oxygen in six minutes or less. I'm calling it India's largest real-time financial inclusion network. So, some of you may know this, but um, you know, only six percent of India's seven hundred billion dollar retail market is paid with credit card and debit cards. The rest is cash. The other thing that you might be interested in know is that over 600 million Indians lack bank accounts. So these are really the issues that uh, have inspired the Oxygen vision to be an instrument for financial inclusion for unbanked and underbanked populations in India. So Oxygen actually is a, a you know, large-scale, profitable organization uh, connecting 240 million Indians to 43 different services in telecom, media, travel, uh, and uh, banking. Um, and it, it connects uh, consumers through retailers, over 100,000 of them across the country, as well as through the Internet. Uh, currently, Oxygen is doing about 30 million transactions a month. Oxygen's, uh, you know, it, it's a it's a for-profit enterprise, but it's generating uh, a major impact in areas of uh, banking, microfinance, remittances, government payments, financial literacy, rural supply chain, and mobile commerce. And I'll tell you a little bit about each of those. So. Uh, State Bank of India has partnered with Oxygen uh, to launch kiosk banking, uh, which is uh, actually Oxygen was the first uh, kiosk banking partner for State Bank of India. <coughs> and essentially, uh, Oxygen retailers are equipped with PCs, and they become customer service points, or C uh, CSPs. And uh, there are essentially many bank branches where people can open bank accounts, deposit, withdraw, transfer, receive cash, um, and so far this year, Oxygen has appointed over 2,000 of these CSPs who have in turn opened uh, over 200,000 accounts, generating uh, 11 billion rupees worth of transactions. And this is just right now in about 1,400 villages. So through this kiosk banking network, Oxygen has also processed uh, 150,000 domestic remittances, mainly from migrant laborers sending money back to their uh, home communities, and has more recently enabled international remittances from the Gulf region, uh, which is actually about half of the international remittance market uh, to India, and will soon be opening up in the U.S. Uh, we've also looked at how we can be an enabler for government to consumer payments, which is a major push from the government and RBI to uh, trying to electronify G2C payments and uh, have worked closely with the state government of Tamil Nadu to uh, focus on old age pensions, village labor, and government scholarships for girls. So far uh, in Tamil Nadu, we've processed over 33 million rupees worth of government payments to uh, about 30,000 beneficiaries. We're, uh, we've tried to uh, get State Bank of India to explore microfinance through the kiosk banking network. Uh, they're a little bit slow to move on the opportunity, although we, they see it. So we decided to just go ahead and, um, and do it ourselves. So we're uh, providing 5,000 rupee loans only to women. Uh, this is just in Rajasthan currently. Um, but building some financial uh, literacy and training around this. So far, we've opened uh, 1,450 bank accounts uh, for microfinance to women for a variety of income-generating activities and uh, dispersed about 7 million rupees worth of loans. And the key thing here is uh, almost 100% recovery rate. So... Interestingly, since 2006, there have been 65 million rural bank accounts created across multiple institutions. However, today, less than 10% of those accounts are actually transacting. So, you know, why is that? 
And we think the main reason is that uh, you know, there's a lot of incentives on, that the government places on creation of the account, but there's very little incentives placed on financial literacy you know, on how to take advantage of the benefits of having a savings account or even what a savings account is. So uh, we've decided to, one of the, the things that, um, unique features to oxygen technology is that we can enable partial withdrawals, partial withdrawals from uh, remittances, from government payments, and so we're encouraging uh, account holders to leave some money in their account, not withdraw everything, so that they can uh, earn interest and keep their money safe. And so um, right now, 20% of the government payments that are received through our network are kept in the accounts, which is doesn't sound like a lot, but um, compared to zero, zero, it's a big step. Uh, we've also established a rural academy for learning uh, to prepare youth for success through a number of different programs that I don't have time to go into, but that are, are helping. Um, Oxygen has made significant investments in United Villages, which is a company that I started based on re, uh, research at MIT in 2002. And uh, um, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased to see, you know, some of uh, uh, w one of the organizations that inspired me to actually get into this space, Drishti, uh, and I was actually working for Satyan Mishra. I don't see him here now, but... Uh, he was in many ways, you know, the, the, the man who inspired me to, to move into this kind of work. He inspired many in this country. That's right. Uh, so, uh, so United Villages uh, is, a, is actually a mobile phone supply chain company that enables uh, small village retailers who are neglected by the traditional supply chain to procure and manage their inventory through phones and uh, essentially enabling you know, the retailers to offer to their communities all of the products that are sold by the major cash and carry operators, Metro, Carrefour, and Walmart, making that all available in less than 5,000 population villages. Uh, one of the major big developments at Oxygen that actually is, is just launching uh, is MobiCash. This is uh, actually State Bank of India's wallet, which Oxygen ha has developed and is hosting, uh, all running through the Oxygen platform. And uh, there's a couple of unique features. Um, basically, anyone with a mobile phone can set up uh, the no frills, 10,000 rupee limit bank account. You could get your phones out right now, register, uh, almost in real time, you've got an SBI MobiCash wallet, uh, which you can use to, uh, to pay for uh, your bills, uh, recharge your phone, your DTV, receive money, transfer money, uh, and, and purchase any of the 43 different oxygen services. Uh, but the other unique feature is uh, there's a there's a uh, higher wallet, uh, 50,000 rupee limit, which does have KYC requirements, uh, but that you can cash out from. So all of the other wallets that we know of in the country are closed wallets. You cannot cash out from them. This is the first wallet in India that you can withdraw cash from at an oxygen retailer using a mobile pin that you request and that, that you give to your uh, oxygen retailer. So um, last but not least, after two years of R&D, we're very pleased to announce the launch of Oxyshan. Uh, this just happened in September. This is a multi-purpose point of sale terminal with GPRS connectivity, a thermal printer, battery backup, biometric reader, and uh, multiple payment inter interfaces, uh, you know, MagSwipe, SmartCard. Uh, it works with the new IMPS uh, protocol. And it essentially enables oxygen retailers to uh, become what I call HTMs. Not ATM, but HTM, which is a human teller machine. And uh, the major breakthrough here is that that terminal costs $100. So that makes it affordable to rural retailers and therefore a way to extend basic banking services 
out into really otherwise unreachable, we heard from some of the other presenters, that it's just not affordable to set up a bank branch in the village. Well, now it is. For $100, a retailer can enable people in that village to open accounts, deposit money, withdraw money, transfer money, receive government payments. And uh, we're planning to, the reason we got it down to a $100 price point is because we guaranteed this Chinese company that uh, we've partnered with 500,000 of them by 2016. So we're committed. We're doing it. We've paid for it. And so by 2016, there are going to be 500,000 of these HTMs, and Oxygen will be effectively the largest ATM network in India. Right now, there are 70,000 ATMs in the country. So together, um, Oxyshan, that terminal, and Mobicash, the wallet, we think are a powerful combination that may enable rural India to leapfrog past urban India and even developed countries in terms of, yep, this is it, uh, in terms of mobile wallet adoption, and also provide the missing killer app, uh, you know, that uh, we need to drive demand for rural Internet. So thank you. Uh, I see what Mr. Chawla told that really there is a good competition of the financially independent people.